my mom wasn't working so much. Cool, an outsider in a volt suit. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Hi, mister. Hello. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. If you think you might be able to lend a hand, talk to Calvin. He may have a job for you. Work never ends in Vault 81. Excuse me. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Hi, how are you? Damn, I need a break. Hey, Calvin. Tired of these tools giving out on me. Don't they know there's work to be done? Huh? She's looking pretty bad in there. got loose in the Commonwealth. Hopefully 81 will quit her bussing long enough to give us folks a decent break.
Dr. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you, if you're interested. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Excuse me, Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Aaron's cat managed to get out of the vault. Can't imagine he'll live too long out there in the Commonwealth. I'm looking forward to what you'll have to say. There's a story here. We'll find it. Katie. This will be a rare treat for the kids. I can't wait to see how excited the kids will be. The children will be very excited to hear about the Commonwealth. Commonwealth sounds so exciting and dangerous. When your numbers get over 10, you carry the extra to the next column. This will be a rare day indeed. I just hope the kids behave. Hello, Katie. I can't wait to see how excited the kids will be. Hey, sweetie. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, You'll find him. I'll find him for you. Thank you! His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened?
I was shot up pretty bad by the raiders that had my friend Preston trapped. But you were still able to rescue him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. When the Deathclaw crawled out, Preston was ready with his laser musket. I bet you were glad he was there. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Now, where did I put those screws? I'll be damned if that whole duct isn't gonna need replacing. Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Seeds. I need more seeds. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. Stay out of trouble. If you think you might be able to lend a hand, talk to Calvin. He may have a job for you. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. Must be keeping busy then. At least business is good. Too good these days. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Halt, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. Why do you say that? I really shouldn't get into it. It's all right. You can tell me. Halt's just changed. He's never around, always claiming he has some errands to run. Back when we first met, he seemed devoted till the end. He actually taught me everything I know when it comes to fixing things. He'd spend every minute he could with me, and of course Aaron after we had her. Now it's like we don't exist, and every conversation we have is a fight. Have you talked to him about it? I've tried, but he won't listen to me. He's always saying he doesn't have time. You'll get past this. Marriage can be hard work. He'll come around. I hope you're right. It'd be nice if he was even around long enough to discuss it these days. Enough about me. I should get back to work. But let me know if I can help you with anything. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends.
Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. Watch yourself. I heard we had a trader in today. The work never ends in Vault 81. I hope we have enough gauze. Excuse me, Dr. Forsythe. I've heard some doctors out there specialize in facial reconstruction. I can't imagine attempting surgery in those conditions. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Hybridization. It's got to be a flaw in the hybridization. Stay out of trouble. If you need a doctor, Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. They can patch you up. What was that? You think we're safe now? We're not in any rush to go, are we? Blue, we're not alone here. Found them and they do not look friendly. Blue, they're still here somewhere. Watch out. I... I think they're gone. Hey!
Who could do something like that? You sure you want to leave that? Couldn't part with anything.
Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. We got a barber here if you need it. I, not saying. Welcome back. Nice to see the Commonwealth hasn't gotten you yet. Hey. You say the word. Hey, Piper. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. Your thoughts? Just think what a group of mutants with nukes could have done to a place like Diamond City. You want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Austin got himself bit by a mole rat, so now they got us cooped up in here to watch Aaron. It's ridiculous. Ashes! You found him! Thanks, mister. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kitty. If you need something, so ask Alexis. I can't make heads or tails of this story. You a Damn it. I was just holding that wrench. I know I don't like it either. But I'm just happy you're back. You're... Still here? Watch yourself. to do something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half ruined and caved in. 
There was this terminal there. So I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault. Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junky genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Hey, Bobby. Not many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look at you. Without that cure, Austin will certainly die. Hello, Dr. Forsyth. Careful of the mole rats down there. If they infected Austin, they could infect you as well. Hey, Bobby. When did it get so quiet?
not even using. I can carry something if you need me to. Got it. Hear that? Was that you? Protectron on duty. Protect and serve.
This is creepy. I'm sure this whole thing is overblown and Austin will be running around tomorrow. Overblown or not, we have to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Well, this is going to be a joy for you. You get 
to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> idiot. staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsyth. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Let's get that outside of the secure. Citizens, you may now resume your normal activities. Whatever is making that smell needs to seek medical attention.
alone here. There you are. A lot of nifty toys in here. Well, there's a classic. Another stranger. Are you Void Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR IE. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you Void Tech Security? These mole rats carry a disease. Do you know anything about it? My poor little darlings. They were used to grow all manner of new and interesting pathogens. Then Volt citizens would be exposed to these viruses in the hopes that they would develop new antibodies. But they never got a chance to execute their plan. Clyde got out of his cage. He was smarter than the others. My sweet Clyde. He let out the others and those poor scientists never stood a chance. Clyde's been dead for almost two centuries now, but his descendants have free run of the vault. I'm rambling. Where are my manners? Are you vault tech security? Yes. Y yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please, tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you.
since you are a Voltec representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Excellent. Piper. Hey, handsome. I think we ought to go our separate ways. If you're sure, I guess I'll head home. Just, uh, don't keep me waiting. What is it? So much to learn and see.
I would request we travel extensively and collect data.